Paul in the race to be LA's next mayor shows Congresswoman Karen Bass leading developer Rick Caruso. With less than three months before the runoff, the race is definitely heating up. CBS 2's Tina Esadine is live in South LA where Caruso will hold a town hall later today. Good morning, Tina. So good morning, uh, Mr. Caruso planning on holding a town hall here at this place behind me, which is essentially a tutoring service that is available for children and families, mostly in the Watts community. This is a very important time for Mr. Caruso, and he certainly must know it, uh, given the fact that the latest poll numbers, this is the second poll, I might add, in recent days, that uh, is showing uh, Representative Karen Bass with a lead over Mr. Caruso in this race for L.A. mayor. The poll was conducted by the LA Times. More than 1,700 registered voters and 43% favored Bass compared to 31% for Caruso. 24% state they are undecided, however. Now, yesterday, Representative Bass did not speak about her current lead in the poll as hundreds gathered to capitalize on the momentum and show support at a rally at LA City College. This rally was named Latinos con Bass, which is essentially Latinos with Bass, and they showed up to show their support for Bass as she widens her lead over billionaire developer Rick Caruso in the race for mayor. We're not going to let anybody break our alliance. The city faces a crisis now, and time is right for unity. We are not going to allow our communities to be pitted against each other. We reached out to Mr. Caruso's campaign, and he issued us this statement, and I quote, Polls show the top issues of this race are homelessness, crime, and corruption. I'm the only candidate who has a plan to fix these issues, and when voters focus on these issues, the dynamics of the race will change. I started this race down 30 points and beat out multiple career politicians to make the runoff, and am confident the path to victory is clear. Now, when Mr. Caruso talks about that runoff, it is important to mention that uh, many didn't believe we'd actually have a runoff. Uh, Representative Bass was shown initially to be the solid front runner. Uh, and uh, then as time went on, indeed, in fact, uh, Mr. Caruso and Representative Bass then did head on to November 8th, where there is going to be a general election. Uh, so clearly an interesting shift and proof that, as always, with politics, things continue to change. You'll also recall when he talks about uh, that he's uh, lasted, he's showing his staying power over other candidates. That in part is true. You'll recall that initially there were 40 people that showed interest in running for this race. That dwindled down to 27, then 12, and now, as you well know, we're at two. So this town hall is important to Mr. Caruso as well, given the timing and his staying power. It starts at one o'clock this afternoon and we'll be here. Reporting live in South LA, I'm Tina Zanin. Back to you. All right. Thank you for that preview.